Welcome to Wild World News. What is happening, man? This it's time for some Wild World News. So apparently, a transgendered person was misidentified in GameStop and flipped out. I have a little article here before I will check out the footage. It says a transgendered woman threatened to fight a GameStop employee in Albuquerque, New Mexico, after he apparently referred to the biological male as Sir. Another customer at the store taped the incident, and a man named Tom Smith posted it to his Facebook. The intense video quickly went viral. The video starts with the trans individual cussing out the male GameStop clerk after being offered store credit rather than a refund. Alright, let's check this out and see what it is. Oh, now you're you're gonna give me my fucking money back. Excuse me, sir, there's a young man in here. Oh, I'm sorry, what Excuse me, it's ma'am. It is ma'am. I can call the police if you'd like me to. You need to settle down. You need to settle down and mind your business, okay? Ma'am, once again, ma'am. I said both of you. No, you said sir. Once again, it's ma'am. I actually said both of you guys. Was right beforehand, you fucking said sir. Sir? Okay. Motherfucker, take it outside. If you want to call me sir again, I will show you a fucking sir. I apologize. Motherfucker. I apologize now. <laughs> this is like the second time we've seen somebody. I need your corporate number. Because I'm going to talk, call them and talk Trash. about the misgendered GameStop store. store. I need your corporate number now. Get it for me now. I'm going to ask you to calm down and stop cussing. Give me your corporate number. Well, I'm going to ask you for the fifth time to stop calling me a man. Because quite clearly I am not. And I apologize. I'm sorry for that, ma'am. It's debatable. Yes, get it for me now. Get it for me now. I'm not cussing. I'm not cussing okay. you. Get me the phone number now. Please. Ooh! Ma'am, I That type of aggressiveness is usually shown by males. You're talking to those disrespecting trans people in this store, which I plan on telling the entire LGBTQ community. You're going to lose money over this. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, I apologize. So this is what I got to say about this. When you are a transgendered individual, in all seriousness, you must know, you've got to know, that because of your features, physical features, that there will be times will you will be misidentified. You've, you've got to know this. You know what I mean? This That's got to be something that comes with the game. Like, I mean, come on now. Like, look now. If I were to try to go trans, become a trans woman, a, a person with my voice and, you know, my features, um, even if I was taking hormones, they they would know. You know what I mean? It's it's. I mean, you heard the way he was talking. It's ma'am. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, you know. Now I think, to tell you the truth, part of it was probably aggravated by the fact that he wasn't going to get his refund. He was just going to get store credit. I mean, it could have been that too. Just flipping out. You know how people people get petty and nitpicky when they're angry. You know what I mean? So, I mean, it, it's got to be something that comes with the game, you know, whether you're a trans woman or a trans man. If someone says to you, oh, I'm sorry, sir, or I'm sorry, ma'am, and you you wanted it to be the other. I mean, it, it, you know what I'm saying? It, it's, it's, you know, I think things like this get blown out of proportion, you know. Uh, it's a very, very touchy subject. I've seen uh, many debates and discussions 
online, different new cl news clips about the whole subject and, uh, you know, the debates of whether it's real, whether it's not real, whether it's in the mind, whether it's not in the mind, you know, all that other stuff. I've seen it all. You know what I'm saying? But in that situation right there, he said, I'm clearly a man. You know, I, I, I don't see women that look like that. Although I do see transgendered women that look like that. But at first sight, they look like a man. And then you realize, oh, I see. I was in the mall the other day with a friend. And uh, somebody passed us. And we both looked at each other. And I was like, yes, that was a man. You know what I mean? They, they had that look on their like, But wait, and I was like, yeah. So it was a trans woman, but yes, the features were very broad and stern. The jaw, everything, the nose, just the head, everything. You could, you know, you knew. But the way they were walking was very feminine and stuff like that. So, you know, you know, you know someone might, you know, say, well, no, that was a woman. I, I, I get what you're saying, but you know what I'm talking about. Biologically born a male. Okay, may have been a trans woman, but that was biologically born a male. So, you know, yeah. Basically, message of the day. I think unless a person is um, uh, what's the word I want to give? Uh, they are. I can't think right now. Unless they are blatantly, blatantly um, picking at a trans transgendered person by calling them the opposite. If someone mistakes, makes that mistake, just, you know, I think as a transgendered person, you're just like, no, oh no, I'm actually, and they'll be like, oh, I'm sorry. And then the conversation will continue. That's how most continue, you know. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I mean, I've seen it. I remember back in the day, there's been, um, um, I remember back in the day uh, when I used to make sales phone calls. Sometimes I would get women on the phone that smoked 19 packs of cigarettes a day. And, you know, I would be like, uh, 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 yes, sir, uh, may I speak with? And they were like, this is she. And... <laughs> Oh, uh, oh, okay, I'm sorry. All right, so then I would continue. And, but they knew. You see what I'm understand? They wouldn't be like, um, you know, I'm offended that you called me, sir. No, they knew what their voice sounded like. You get what I'm saying? And then when I would see these women in appointments, they were biological women, but it's like they were smokers. You know what I'm saying? So their voice was very deep. So they knew. They knew what came with the fact that they smoked so many cigarettes. They knew that they may get mistaken for a man on the phone. And the same is going to go for physical. You know what I'm saying? You just take that from voice, move it to physical. If you see someone that clearly has the stature that, you know, your mind and eyes are used to seeing all from since you were a baby to now that comes with a male just because you grow your hair out and put some lipstick on you know you can't expect them to knee jerk call you a woman you can't you know what I'm saying mm, same thing for women and, uh, so, you know what I'm talking about so post comments down below let me know what you all think and I hope GameStop has a good clean up staff because people just keep on kicking over y'all shit <laughs> 10 million subscribers. Woo! You may now subscribe.